Hi everybody, it's Lisa again, and this hour we are going to do a writing class. So this is the class where you get to write, uh, answer questions, pretend like you're writing emails, and um, so yeah. Um, if you're trying out the new Verbling Premium, then you can reserve a seat in the class and get here first. After about the first two minutes, I believe, then they will open up the regular green join class button. So other people who want to join in can as well. Um, I'm going to put the link to the document that I prepared for today. Um, up in the Verbling chat in just a second here. Let me get it organized. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going to be working on today. Um, all of you are familiar, I believe, with how this works. So it is a writing class. It's going to uh, give you the opportunity to practice your writing. If you are somebody who needs to uh, pass a test, like the TOEFL exam or the many other English proficiency exams that are out there, for um, professionals and people who want to work um, in companies perhaps or go to university or migrate to an, an English speaking country then you may need to pass those tests and this will help you it'll also help you just learn English and, and be better in your English uh, skills because even even though it's writing it also helps you just your thinking in English and just doing more things in English which which will help your speaking and your reading and your comprehension as well okay so uh, let me just check here everybody all right hi Maria Jose and Fernando and Imad and Abdullah um, I know that there are many people that are looking at the uh, the Google Doc, so we'll see if uh, people come in as it turns over to the green join class button. In the meantime, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm Lisa. I'm one of the Verbling teachers. And um, hi, Mido. How are you? <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this up in the screen share because I'm going to start explaining how this works because there are probably people who are watching who will join in pretty soon and um, the people who are in the class you can also get started so there's a couple of things here can everybody hear me? Maria Jose and Fernando can you hear me? yes okay good yeah. it, it was yeah, just yeah. so quiet <laughs> good yes. alright I'm focusing the email thing <laughs> okay cool <laughs> All right, so um, I prepared today five uh, prompts or questions um, again, and they're there. And so if you are going to participate in the writing, the main thing is to um, just work on your own writing and do not work on anybody else's or don't erase anything. Uh, the way that you do this, as you can see, some people are already getting started. Um, if you're new to the writing class or to Verbling, um, then what you do is you open this document. So you can see there are uh, 14 people that are looking at it right now. And what, you're, what they're doing is just go and find a spot and you can write your name. So like you can see I'm writing my name and then here uh, is where you start writing. And the way this works is... It works good if you could uh, grab your own writing and maybe uh, make it a different color so I can find it more easily. And as you can see, Maria Jose, for example, started. You read the question and then you do what it tells you to do. So the first one says, write an email to your friend telling her about the new puppy that you got this past weekend. Describe what it looks like, how old it is, etc. So all of these um, prompts today are going to ask you to describe things. So I wanted you to have a chance to practice uh, describing things. Um, so using descriptive words 
and um, so that's what all of these have in common today you're going to be describing things so um, what I want you to do is start writing if you have any questions let me know um, if you have a question and you're not in the Google Hangout you can put the question in the Verbling uh, chat and I will be able to answer it uh, that way okay so some things that I want to uh, mention as you guys are getting started I will be um, asking you to read what you wrote and then I will be providing um, corrections as necessary um, some of the things that you guys probably want to remember because I correct these a lot so I'm going to tell them to you right now in English we always capitalize I so when you're talking about yourself I you capitalize so when you're doing that um, in your writing always capitalize I when you're referring to yourself uh, we always capitalize the first letter of the first word in a sentence okay the other thing is we always put the periods and commas at the end of the um, right after the word that you want where you want to put it so I know some people leave a space and then they put the comma but we don't do that in English okay so I'll give you an example in the verbling chat so so we put periods at the end of sentences so when you're done with a thought you put a period right after and then the comma so you don't do this don't okay so you want to put those commas right after I'll be correcting those when I see them today okay so if anybody has any questions uh, just let me know if you want to join I think we have space one two three four five six we have two spaces I believe so it does look like some people are watching so if you'd like to click the green join class button you will be able to come into the the Google Hangout and that way you will have a chance to read what you write and then you will have a chance to have me make the corrections okay so the first one is writing an email telling your friend about your new puppy and and making uh, using descriptive words okay all right So I'm just going to, uh, hi there, Mar, welcome. Does anybody have any questions? If, uh, if you're in the chat, I know that uh, Mido and Maria Jose are familiar. Mar, are, um, are you familiar with how we do the writing classes? Excuse me? Do you know how we do the writing classes? Do you have any questions? Uh, uh, not yet. I'm going to, to, to read first. Because I'm not in the class, uh, I don't know what are you doing. Okay, <laughs> sure. Well, we're doing the writing, and so if you want to, just click on this uh, link that I put in the Verbling chat. Yeah. And then um, what we're doing is you're just, there's the first question at the very top, and you start writing. So just choose a place on the page, on the Google document, and then you start writing. And then when you're done, you tell me and you read it and then I make corrections okay okay uh-huh and let's see I just want to make sure that everybody's writing so Ahmad's writing, Fernando's writing uh, Mido's writing Oscar is Oscar in the Google are you in the Google and this document where, where yes I, where is did you click on this link right here in the verbling chat did you see that where it says my name and then my picture and then there's a, a link? Yes. Okay. That if you click on that, it opens up this document. You can see it in the screen share here. People are already writing on it. Do you see that? Yes, I see the the photo, but I can write. Okay. So 
what you need to do is just go go find a place on the top. So you see the top here says the first question is write an email to your friend. Then yes. you can you can just put your cursor there and then write your name like I just wrote Mar and then you can start writing. Okay. Right here like that. And that's how you do it. Thanks. Uh-huh. Okay. Boom. And uh, Julissa, I put the link in the chat there if you want to get started. Okay. Thanks. Uh huh. Fernando, do you Lisa, want to? Uh huh. I have a question. Sure. When you when you are talking when you talking about the skin of the animals, is the same word skin? Like uh, like. Yeah, it oh, can be the, the skin or the fur. Okay. Thanks. Or the coat. Sometimes we call it a coat too. Yeah. Oh, can you can you type the last one, please, in the Rolling chat? Yeah. So we can use fur, skin, and sometimes we say coat. <laughs> uh, okay, like um, okay, like when okay. you're describing his fur, it, sometimes you could describe he, he has a yes. smooth coat of yeah of fur. Okay, but but if I refers to the color of the this is like fur is like fur. Yeah, fur. The color okay. Yes. Yeah. Lisa, do yeah. you want to say me something? Yeah, do you want to read uh, what you wrote for the first? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, go um, ahead. But um, my letter is marked in blue. So yeah, I found it. Okay. Uh, well, my letter says, Hi, my friend. How about you? I'm fine. I'm fine here in Santiago, by the way. I have a good news to share with you. The last weekend, our friend Francisca got me a puppy, very calm, nice and smart. It's a very young puppy, but I know that it will be smart and will be my friend, best friend ever, ever. So, please go into my home this next weekend to meet my new puppy and share with her as soon as possible. Kind regards, post data, bring a bone, Fernando. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, now I'm going to just make a few corrections. Hi, my friend. Okay, so we don't say how about you. We would just say how are you. And then okay. I'm fine here in Santiago, so capitalize the, the name of the city, um, okay. by the way. Uh, okay, so I would say I'm fine here in Santiago. Then I would say, then I would say by the way, comma, I, I've uh, good news to share with you, period. Uh, and I just would say last weekend, um, our friend Francisca got me a puppy. Um, and then I'd say it is very kind, comma nice and smart. It's it's a very young puppy, but I know that it will be smart and will be my best friend ever. So, comma please. Come to my home this week, this next weekend, to meet my new puppy and share uh, with her as soon as pop possible. And let's see, and share, meet my new puppy. And what do you mean by share? Um, sh I, I try to mention to my friends to come to my home to mm -hmm. share with me, uh, my friend, and with the puppy. Okay. Together, together. Oh, okay, so come to my home this next weekend to meet my new puppy and. Um, and mm. her because it's a female race. Yeah, I would say hang, I would say <laughs> hang out with her. <laughs> as soon as possible. Hang out. Yeah. Hang so, out. 
yeah, hang out is kind of, I think, what you're trying to say is, like, share time, like, spend time with her, the puppy, and yourself. So that's, we say hang out. So come, when you're talking to your friends, you want to tell them to come over to your house and hang out with you and be with you. Is that okay, what you mean? But, okay, but, but chair sounds very strange. Yes. I hung yeah, out if you there. wanted to use share, like we use the word share, we would say share something. So, um, ah, perfect. Yeah, like if you wanted to share like your banana with me or share, uh, you know, share something, but not just to share. Okay, when I want to share uh -huh. a quote and quotes or uh -huh. with somebody but something that is un untouchable I have to say hang out hanging out means like um, spending time just like you're sitting there talking um, okay yeah Drink. okay in, in, in this case is mm -hmm. with my puppy right yeah so come okay. uh, meet my puppy and hang out with her so be okay. like play with her another word is maybe you want to say play with my puppy or um, okay yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, is anybody else ready to read the first, their answer to the first one? I finished. Lisa. Yes, I care. Okay, Julissa and then Mido. I put, okay, uh, I found I, it. I put, hi Pilar, how are you doing? I hope you are fine. I'm writing you to tell you that the last week I was a little puppy. He's just one month old, he's a Shih Tzu dog, and his color of hair is all brown. I'm not sure about what would be his name, so I hope you can help me to choose one. He's very cute and likes to play a lot. I hope you can come to see him soon. Have a good day. Okay, good. Okay, hi Pilar, how are you doing? I hope you are fine. I'm writing uh, you to tell you that you can just put last week and it's okay, it's okay to say I'm writing you to tell you but it's kind of a little bit um, repetitive so uh, often we would just say I'm writing to tell you that last week I bought a little puppy he is just one month old he is a Shih Tzu dog I would capitalize the S because it's a name of a breed and his color of hair is all brown I'm not sure about what will be his name I would just say I'm not sure what will be his name, comma, so I hope you can help me to choose one. He is very cute and likes to play a lot. I hope you can come to see him soon. Have a good day. Okay, great. So when you're done with the first one, you can go to the second one, which is describing yourself. Okay, Mido, you want to read your first one? Okay. Go ahead. Um, where is it? Okay, uh, dear Dahlia, how are you, my dear friend? I really hope that you are fine. Guess what? I got the puppy that I told you about. It's really cute and nice, and I wish I could show it to you one day. It's one year old, and it has a lot of fur, and it's really small. I gave it a, a warm bath, and then brushed its fur, and now I'm having fun with it. I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow, so we can have fun playing with it together. Your friend, Mito. Okay, great. I don't see any uh, corrections needed. So that's really good. All right, let me know when you're done with number two. Oh my god. Okay. Can I read my first? Yes, Maria Jose. Okay. Um, we are Connie. How are you, my dear friend? I am very happy. Finally, I bought the puppy that we have seen in the puppy store last week. Do you remember the cute Basset Hound puppy? Let me remember you how he looks like. He has a long, pretty brown ears. His body is long, but he is short. Besides, I love his brown and white fur with the big black bricks. He's very young and lovely puppy. I think we will become best, best friends. You have to know him. You will love him, too. In spite of his pranks, he light up me. Okay, okay. Okay, dear Connie. How are you, my dear friend? All right. And then you can just put it there. I am very happy. Finally, I bought the puppy that we uh, 
you could just say saw that we saw at the puppy puppy store last week. Do you remember the cute basset hound puppy? Let me, and then we say remind you, remind you about how he looks. And you can take out the like there. He has a long, uh, he has long, pretty brown ears. His body is long, but he is short. Besides, I love his, uh, mm, I wouldn't really say besides there. Because besides is like you said something maybe that you didn't like, and then you would say besides, you would use it that way. You would say something like furthermore or moreover, but not necessarily in an informal letter. So I would just take that out. I love his brown and white fur with the big black. Do you mean uh, spots? Maria Jose? Yes, like uh, how do you say that? Manchas? Yeah, spots. I don't know the word. Okay, the spots. Yes. Yeah, spots. He is very young and I would say is such a lovely puppy. I think we will become best friends. You have to know um, to know him. You have to meet him. You will love him too. In spite of his pranks, comma, he lights me up. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, is anybody else ready to write? Uh, Lisa, I finished. Okay, the come first on. question. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you guess it? Okay. The first one. Okay. Let me find it. Hold on. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, every hi everyone. It's been a long time since uh, I emailed something to all of you. Last Sunday, I was hanging out with my friends when I accidentally came across a pet store in the street. I found a small puppy there. Uh, he is white, furry, smart, and has got uh, uh, lovely eyes. I named him Max. Uh, I would like to send you some uh, pictures. For, for for Max and I will post uh, some of them on Facebook. Okay, mm. good. Hi everyone. It's been a long time since I I would put have emailed um, something to all of you. Last Sunday I was hanging out with my friends when accidentally I came across a pet store. Um, I would say on the street. I found a small puppy there. He is white, furry, smart, and has got lovely eyes. I named him Max. I would like to send you some pictures of Max, and I will post some of them on Facebook. Sincerely, your friend Ahmad. Good. Any questions? No. Okay. Good. All right. So, uh, Ahmad. Uh, just, just one question, Lisa. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, I said, uh, has got lovely eyes. So if something, uh, if, if I said have got, when we said have got, then uh, uh, it's not for plural or where, where, where is the right position for have got? Well, that's right. He is white, furry, smart, and has got lovely eyes. So um, that's right. You wouldn't say have. Yeah, because it's singular. Right. He has. So, have got for plural? I don't know where to use have or has got because, uh, but maybe for plural and singular, is it correct? Yeah. They have, but he has. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Or we okay. have also. You know, I have. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, when you're talking about uh, uh, he, she, or it, you write has. Okay? Okay, good. Okay, is anybody else um, who's in the chat here ready to read? Hakan, are you writing somewhere? I didn't see. I yes, I yeah, already wrote one. Okay, do you, wa do you want to read it? Of course. Okay, I wrote, hey, what's up, Edita? How okay. is going on? 
-hmm. I have great news for you. Do you remember when I was dreaming to have one puppy? Yes, I have it right now. It's really cute. You should come and see it. It's brown and just six months old. It's a very spoiled one. I look forward to meet you and spend time with us. Take care. Bye. Okay, good. Hey, what's up, Edita? How's, I would say, it going? And we don't need to put on, just put, how's it going? Um, I have great mm -hmm. news for you. And then you would put an exclamation mark. Do you remember when I was dreaming to have, um, I would say, dreaming about uh, having a puppy? Yes, okay. I have it right now. Uh, period. It's, capitalize I, it's really cute. And then you should come and see it. It's brown. And just six months old. It's very. It's a very spoiled one. I look forward to. Uh, I would say seeing you and spending and having you spend time with us. Take care. Bye. Okay. Good. Any okay. questions? No, thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. Okay, I got him out. Is. Oscar is not in here. Okay. Abdul Aziz, are you there? Yes. Um, have you started writing? No. Okay, just, would you like I to write? The class. Okay, here's I how the class. Okay, what we're, ri we're doing is writing, um, answering questions. So the first uh, little assignment here says, Write an email to your friend telling her about the new puppy that you got this past weekend. Describe what it looks like, how old it is, etc. So you just go okay. click. If you want to write, click on that link, mm -hmm. and then you'll yes, be able yes. to. I am already, I'm already in there. Excuse me. I opened the link already. Oh, okay, great. So yeah, just find a place and you can start writing and let me know when you're ready for me to correct it. Okay. Okay. So it looks like some people are having trouble. Do people see a green uh, join class button or not? Because um, Yeah. No, they are just re uh, being redirected to the Google account page. They have to sign in for the Google account. Oh, really? I don't know why that's Yeah. Happening. Huh. Let me check, see what's going on. Because they are not signed in. Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know. It they should be uh, seeing a green join class button. I think they should oh. refresh the page. Uh, I have Sign. a problem. Yes, when they I will see the green the button. Lisa, okay, they will see the uh, yes, they will see the uh, the green button. But when they click it, yeah. they will be redirected to the Google page. They have okay. to sign in with a Google account. Yeah, just first. sign in with a Google account, and then you'll. And then you'll be able to get in. Okay. Is anybody ready to read? Start writing. So, Julie, uh, I don't see you in the. You must be in the chat, Julie, and I'll I'll read yours. You're trying to get in. I can see that. Claire came in. <laughs> How are you? You know, I found a puppy yesterday, a very cute one. He looks like pretty. He looks pretty robust, but he has got a lot of fur. Um, is soft, and it makes him look more athletic. Thinner. He looks like a golden retriever. 
you know, with brown fur. He has a lot of energy. He doesn't he doesn't stop running when we're out and always asks me to play with him. Um, he has begun, I would say he has begun to obey the orders I give him. It's great. Okay, Julie, so I, I just corrected uh, what you had there. So if you want to uh, take a look at it, you can. Genesis, are you, did you get in? Genesis. Okay, Genesis, uh, maybe you had trouble getting in. I'm going to correct this. Hi, Andy, how is it going? I have some news for you, comma. I mean, period. I got a puppy finally. It's white and big. Its uh, nose is pink. Actually, it's exactly like Bruno. Uh, they both look like brothers. The only difference I found out between them you can just say found. The only difference I have found between them is that Bruno is older. Um, okay, it seems he seems to be older. I named the new family member Bilo. I hope you can visit us soon to uh, introduce Bilo to you. Greetings, Genesis. Okay, good. Okay, Mido, um, you want to read your second one? Okay. Uh, I, uh, uh, okay, uh, dear Maria, how are you today? I hope that everything is going great with you. I am emailing you because you asked me to tell you more about myself. Well, I cannot think of many things to tell you about myself, but I'm just normal, kind, love to help people, and really eager to learn English. I assure you that you will have the chance to know me more once we talk and have a long chat. I'm looking forward to chatting with you and practicing English. You know. Great. Yeah, that's the only thing I was going to change. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. Good. <sighs> Maria Jose, are you ready? Yes, I I Okay, yes. So number two. Uh, dear friend, I need you on verbal classes and I wonder if you want to share some ideas with me by Skype. We will have the chance to meet each other to talk about some interesting ideas and to practice our English skills as well. Let me tell you that. Let me tell let me tell you something. So I am a very kind person who wants to meet people from other countries. You know, I love knowing foreign cultures. Would you share your funny time with me? Let me let me know. It will make me very happy. Okay, good. Dear friend, um, I met you on. I would say I would met you. Th I met you through Verbling classes, and I wonder if you want to share some ideas with me by Skype. Com period. We uh, could have a chance a chance to meet each other. To talk about some interesting ideas and to practice our English with uh, capital E skills as well. Let me tell you that I am a very kind person who wants to meet people from other countries. You know I love knowing foreign cultures. Would you share? Um, let's see. I would say, would you share? What do you mean, like funny? What, what is I, I don't know. Uh, funny, no. Maybe great. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, amazing, no. Like, oh, yeah. Would you? Okay, um, I see what you're saying. Um, uh, okay. Would you like. <laughs> it just sounds a little funny in English. Would you like to. I don't know. The, the, like, useful time, maybe? Uh, I don't some know. Fun. Yeah, because if you said, would you like to have uh, some fun with me, it, that would sound kind of funny. <laughs> so I would just say, um, would you like to chat? I would just keep it to like, would you like to ch chat? Um, let me know. It will make me very happy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Lisa, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi there, Samir. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. I'm writing you because I was wondering if we could find a day to practice our English by Skype. 
I'm an English student who is trying to improve her English because as you may know, I live in a Spanish-speaking country, so it's difficult for me to find a partner to practice my English for a few times. I think I'm a transport person who really wants to learn more, and at the same time, if you need it, I could help you to improve your Spanish as an exchange. I hope to hear from you. Take care. You listen. Okay, great. Hi there, Shima. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. I'm writing you because I was wondering if we could find a day to practice our English by Skype. I'm an English student who is trying to improve her English because, as you may know, I live in a Spanish... Uh, sometimes we put a dash there when we describe something, like Spanish-speaking, and you're describing the country. So it's a Spanish-speaking country. So it's difficult for me to find a partner to practice my English with for um, a while. I would say for a while. Um, I think I'm a trustful person who really wants to learn more. And at the same time, if you need it, I could help you to improve your Spanish as an exchange. I hope to hear from you. Great. That sounds good. Okay. You can go on to number three. Okay, I see that we um, have some new people who came in. So um, for the new people who came in, if you want to get started, all you need to do is um, open the Google document. And I'm putting the link here in the Verbling chat. So you'll have time to uh, probably answer a couple of the questions. There are five questions. OK, Maria Jose, you have to go. All right. Yes. Because okay. my model is so okay. thanks for the, for All the right. writing class. Sure. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, if you would like to uh, write in this class, you can see the Google Doc and the. Um, I wrote the questions. They have the numbers by them, and then they also have. Uh, they are highlighted in yellow. So the first one is tells you to write an email to your friend telling her about the new puppy that you got this past weekend. Describe what it looks like, how old it is, etc. So if you want to do that one, you just find a place on the Google Doc and put your cursor there and then you just type your name and then answer that question or do that uh, email. If you would like to do a different one, then just go scroll down and you'll see that there's a number two is talking about describing yourself. And then there's number three, which is uh, describing your house. So uh, a lot, all of these today are practicing describing things. So as you can see, there are people like Mido and Julissa and Imad that ha are writing. So if you just joined us in the Google Hangout, you can start writing now. And does anybody have any questions? Hi, Milan. How are you? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Fine. And how are you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. From yeah. Here. Nice to see thank you. Thank you very much. It's my first attempt to your class. And okay. I'm successful. Yeah, you got in. <laughs> That's great. Cool. But I don't see you, but I see documents, but yes. I don't see you. Yeah, uh, yes. Here I, I see am. You. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice from the Europe. Uh huh. Great. I see you in Washington. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty late for you, isn't it? Uh, we have uh, a quarter pa a quarter to eleven. Quarter to eleven, yeah, okay. To 11. So not it, too bad. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Great. So nice. this cl this class that we're doing right now is a writing class. I see. Yeah. So if you want to uh, practice your writing, you can click on the link here. Do you see the verb link chat where I put a link just now? Yes, I have it already okay. here. Oh, you opened it. Okay. Yes. So, Write yeah. an email to your friend telling her about the new puppy that right. you got this past weekend. Yes, I can read it. Okay. Do you want to? You can. Uh, 
just put your cursor somewhere on that page and then type your name and then start writing. And when you're done writing, then you just tell me and then wow. I have I have you read what you wrote and mm -hmm. then I make corrections if they're needed. Well, I try. Okay. Thanks. Good. We have about another uh, 18 minutes in the class here, so we have time to do some stuff. Okay. Can I read the third one? Yes, you can. Let me go find it. It's always green. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I have to scroll I'm down. thinking Oops. about changing it to, to red. So <laughs> okay. it would be like, you know, blood and things. Yeah, blood. Okay. <laughs> but I can't okay, find... Um, okay, there. Wait, there you go. Okay, good. Okay, um, my house is neither big nor small. It's it's just one flat, and it has five rooms, one kitchen, two bathrooms, and a reception. In the reception, there is a TV and several chairs for us to sit and watch the TV. When you enter my house, you'll find the reception first. Then you can go right, and you'll find a small hall taking you to the bedrooms, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. I can describe the neighborhood that I live in as a very quiet neighborhood. It has around ten other houses, and it's a very lovely neighborhood. Okay, great. So the only thing I would change in here is um, oh, it wouldn't come on. It, ah, <laughs> it wouldn't be common to uh, the reception is more a word that we use for a business like a place of business where mm -hmm. you go um, to the reception. So what we would use is um, a living room. Okay. Of, yeah. Right. So in in the living room, uh, whoops. There's a TV. Sometimes we say the family room or a living room. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Right. But five rooms, that's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a big house. <laughs> five rooms. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. We have okay, two so, bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. When you enter my house, you will find the, okay, so the living room first. Then you can go right and you'll find a small hall taking you to the bedrooms, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. I can describe it. Okay. Ten, ten other houses, that's, that's, what kind of a neighborhood is it? Is it in a city or outside of a city? No, it's just a small town I told you oh, about town, um, yeah. last time. How many people live in your town? Oh, nothing. Oh, around 10,000, not oh. more. Yeah. Type, type the name of your city right there, so I'm going to look it up again. This uh, me or yeah, you know, yeah. is someone else talking? No, you. No. Okay, okay. And then I'll go look it up. Hi, Victor. You just came in. If you just uh, came in, just go click on the link to the Google Hangout, and you can write. We have about fifteen more minutes. <laughs> So people have time to do some writing, and I have time to do some uh, correcting here. So if you're interested, uh, just start writing. When you're done writing, let me know so I know when to uh, correct you. Okay. Um, I cannot see the pictures uh, on the uh, on the page. It just says describe the picture, but I can't see the pictures. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, I wonder why. Um, um, can everyone see it? I don't know. Can, 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 I, can anybody else? Can you see it right there in the screen share? Mm, yeah. Okay, in the I'll screen share, yeah. Yeah, so there it is. That's what you need to describe. What's happening? Uh, okay, okay. You can see them. You can describe them. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I can. <laughs> you're you're okay. here to practice your English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Good. Hi, Genesis. Let's see here. Okay. Abdulaziz, do you want to read what you wrote now? Yes. Yes. I Okay, let Number me see. Two. Number two, yes, I see that. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Sammy. I have met you on an online English teaching website called Verbaling. In that website, I have noticed that you have a good experience in English. So I hope that we practice together. You will not regret that. 
because I can help you as well. I have a good experience too. I have studied almost five years I uh, in the engineering school, so contact mm -hmm. me on Skype. And that's it. Uh, best okay. regards, Abdulaziz. Sure. Okay, good. So let's see. I have, uh, I would just say I met you on an online, I would say in an online English, uh, oh no, on, yeah. okay. Hold on. I met you on an online English teaching website called Verbling. Um, on that website, I noticed that you have a good, ex that you have good experience um, in English. So I hope that we can practice together. You will not regret, I would just say it, because I can help you as well. I have um, a good, I have, uh, I would say a lot of experience too. I have studied almost five years in the engineering school. Contact me on Skype. Best regards. Um, okay, good. Did you do Hi, another Lisa. one? Lisa, can, uh -huh. can yes. you can you read my yeah, email? Okay, Milan, hold on. Just yes. a minute. Let me find it. Just under number three. Just under number three. Okay. And let me see. Uh, Julissa and me do. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Let me just make it a little end. bigger here. Okay, why don't you read it to me and then I will make corrections. Hi, how are you doing? Thanks for your last email. You made me very happy. I also have good news. We've moved into our old family house again. It has two floors. We live in the first floor and our younger daughter with her husband and our lovely granddaughter live above us. Next time I'll write more. Best wishes, Milan. Okay, good. So not much to correct, just that there. Uh, Kapila, how are you doing? Thanks for your last email. You've made me very happy. I also have good news. We've moved into our old family house again. It has two floors. We live in the first floor, and our younger daughter with her husband and our lovely granddaughter live above us. Next time, I'll write more. Best wishes, Milan. Great. Thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank so you. If you want, you can um, do the other ones, too. So, well, yeah. Have, you we, can do well, have we time? Yeah, there's time. We have about 10 more minutes, so. 10 more minutes. I, yeah. I try something. Okay. Okay, Claire, did... Did you write something, Claire? I think about this picture. Yeah, if, if you want to look at one of the pictures, there's two pictures. Mm -hmm. And so um, just we're practicing describing things. So if you want to describe, you just, just, you know, maybe three or four or five sentences, you can describe what's huh? going oh. on and make up a little story about it. Number five, I try write something about number five picture about okay. picture under number five sure go ahead all right okay in the meantime um, Victor have you started writing do you want to write check the mute button there's a mute no you have to there's a microphone at the very top right hand corner above the verbling uh, chat box and there's a microphone sometimes it's muted if you click on it it unmutes so then I can hear you because I can't hear you right now I can't hear you here I'll show you um, what it looks like hold on okay so you see above the verbling right there there's icons this one right here is a microphone Maybe you need to click on that to see if your microphone is muted. It might be muted. Mm. Okay. Claire, did you write? Okay.
So I'm working on um, Oscar Moreno's right here. Um, if you get, if you're there, I'm correcting it. Claire, did you did you want to write something? Okay, Oscar, I, I corrected yours if you want to take a look at it. Claire, are you there? Is all finished? Okay, Imad, let me see. Which uh, number? Number three on the first uh, paragraph. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Imad. Okay. I have a very nice house. Consists of three rooms, one living room, and a wide balcony. It's in the first, in the fifth uh, floor of there, and there is a very wide park in front of. In front of uh, this make, uh, sorry, it should make. This makes the very, uh, this make uh, the very fascinating uh, view at the balcony. I think it's incorrect. Uh, okay, with that kind of fresh air that brings the smell of the trees and the flowers in front, uh, in front, uh, from the park. Mm -hmm. My room is really comfortable, comfortable, and really quiet. I provide my room with ADSL, uh, two computers, bookshelves, TV, and satellite receiver, as well to get uh, everything I want in my room. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, I have a very nice the, house. What? Uh, I notice. Uh, I always notice uh, mistakes when I read it. Yeah, so. <laughs> you have to reread it. Okay, so we'll do some correcting. I have a very nice house. It consists of three rooms, one living room, and a wide balcony. It is on the fifth um, floor. And there is a very wide park in front of it. This makes, um, I would say, for a. This makes oh. for a very fascinating view, view from uh. the balcony, um, with. Uh, I would say I would just say with fresh air that brings the smell of the trees and flowers from the park. My room is really comfortable and really. Uh, quiet. I equipped my room with a DSL, two computers, bookshelves, a TV, and a satellite receiver as well to get everything I want in my room. Okay, good. Okay. Lisa? Yes, May you I? ready? May I have you? Yes, yeah. I'm ready. Three sentences only. Okay, go ahead. You can read it. So, well, such pool is the exactly same time of what my wife plans for the, uh, for the next summer, or for next summer to have in our garden. I hope we prepare everything to be able enjoying swimming in clear water at home. I'm looking forward to have a good time with our children and with our neighbors' children, children as well. Okay, cool. All right, I would say, well, uh, such a pool is such a the, pool. is the exact same type um, that my wife plans. Um, mm -hmm. I would say to have in our garden next summer. Next summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I hope we. Understand can prepare everything to be able to be able to enjoy swimming enjoy. in clear water at home. I'm looking forward to having a good time with our children Hello. and with our neighbors' children as well. Great. That's good. Thank you. Thank you uh -huh. very much. You're welcome. That's great. Lisa, I finished number good. three. Very useful for me. 
Okay, great, Milan. Thanks. So we have about three minutes, so um, I'm going to go with Julissa right now, and if you want to read, you got to let me know, because otherwise we're going to run out of time. So, uh, Julissa, go ahead. Julissa. Okay. <clears throat> My house is located in a neighborhood that is very near or centric. I'm not sure about this work. To some useful places like supermarkets, street markets, and parks. I live in a two-floor house. In the first floor, you can see the living room, the kitchen, three bedrooms, and two bathrooms. In the second floor, you can see two bedrooms and one bathroom. My room is in the second floor. Okay. So, yeah, we say my house is located in a neighborhood that is very, um, you can just say very uh, close. Close. Oops. Very close to some useful places like supermarkets, street markets, and parks. Um, you could also say it is uh, centrally located. That's how you say that. But you don't have to say that right there. <laughs> um, you can say my house is very essentially located in a neighborhood that is very close. Okay, I live in a two-floor uh, two house. Uh, we usually say a two-story, two-story house. On the first floor, you can see the living room, the kitchen, three bedrooms, and two bathrooms. On the second floor, you can see two bedrooms and one bathroom. My room is on the second floor. Okay, great. Thanks. That's good. Cool. You're welcome. Okay, so who's who else is ready? Nito? Lisa. I yes, am. Victor? Yes, number four. Lisa, okay, okay. Give me your just uh, ten or twenty minutes. Uh, 20 seconds, okay. It's the first time I came here. Uh, I'm, I'm talking from Colombia, from Barranquilla, Colombia. Um, familiar, familiarizing with this uh, platform because the first time I came. Uh, I would like to know um, what is the what is the your method uh, for this English class. Okay. So this class is just about over. So the way the verbling classes work is it's best if you get here on time, which is every hour on the hour, a new class starts. And every class is different. It could be a speaking class, a reading class, a listening class, a writing class. This class that we've been doing for the last hour now has been a writing class. So as you can see in the screen share, um, people have been writing, and this particular class they've been describing things. Okay. And so we are describing we are describing a, a a house a house. Yeah, you, yeah, your house. You're describing this picture. You're describing a puppy. Things like that. So um, if you want to look at the uh, Google document, you can. But this class is going to end okay. right after Mido uh, reads. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and then you can you can go check out other classes too. Every teacher does something a little different, so it all depends on what you're interested in and uh, working on for your English. Okay. Can I can I improvise or do I have to write down the description in in a in a word word uh, pad? Yeah. A word it, document. It, it, no, it's improvising right here on the. It's just writing okay. on this document. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh huh. Okay, Mido, okay. why don't you read and then we will be done. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Mido? Um, in this picture I can see five young people climbing a very high mountain. Mm -hmm. Four of them are still fresh and trying hard to get to the top, but the one on the right is really tired and he's stuck for a while to catch his breath. You can see how hot it is by looking at their skins. Mm -hmm how hot it is by looking at their skin. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. The only thing is it is a high mountain. We could also say a, a steep mountain, but it's not necessarily... I mean, it is steep, but you're right. It's high. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. And Julissa, I'll just read this one. This picture has been taken um, in the mountains. Here we can see five people that are trekking and trying to reach... Uh, the top of a mountain. They are carrying their backpacks and wearing some light clothes because the weather uh, might be kind of hot. Yes. Great. Okay, guys. Thank you. That's that's all for today. You guys did a really good job. Um, for the for the people who came in a little bit later, 
the, the best is if you want to come into the classes um, a little earlier, like right now, another class is starting. So if you want to go back to the Verbling uh, website and choose a class, then you can uh, participate. Maybe it's a reading or a writing or a, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked. But every uh, class is different, and all the teachers do different things. So um, it's just an opportunity for you to practice your English so in, all, in many different ways. So thanks for everybody who came to class, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Thank you. Bye, Thank you. everybody. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye.